How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Fazanadu. Hooray! Uh, I've got the King Key equipped. We're at the Tower of Mist. I've used the key. So, there's two paths to kind of go through in this dungeon. And uh, one is an elixir, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It's a ways away. It's very dangerous. But it is, I think, the last time in the game you can get an elixir. So make your choice, basically. These guys can be a little difficult. They always jump really high on their third jump. So just be careful of when they're going to jump. One use of the, the uh, fire spell and then a quick sword swipe will take them out. Four regular sword swipes will take them out normally. Uh, this room also is good because it's an ointment room, which is awesome. So, I don't know where we are on the counter right now for my item rooms, but... Oh, good. Perfect, actually. So, on the screen to the right, you can either go up for an elixir, which is a, it's a ways away, or you can go down for what we're here for, which is the black onyx piece of the meteorite. So, we're going to grab the ointment, and we're going to run. If you are really good and you don't mind... If you have an elixir already... Ah, shit. Um, then you can, you know, defeat the enemies here, get some... Uh, they still do damage, even though I have the ointment. Stupid shield. Get away from me. Uh, but yeah, you, you can get some uh, some uh, gold and all that right now, because we are going to need a lot of gold um, once we get to the next the next main town. But there are places to level up, which we'll, I'll be doing off screen, so we'll do that later. Right now, it's more important that we get here. We have a little boss. I am going to immediately use a red potion. This guy can hit quite heavily, and we're going to use some magic against him, too. Don't really need to. If you're if you know what you're doing, you can actually um, get him stuck in a corner, which is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna get you to jump over here, bud. There you go. Don't. No. Damn it. Come on over here. And then. Ah, shit, I'm so bad at it, though. Oh my god, already I'm so close to death. Thankfully, he does jump over you, so. There we go. We got the Black Onyx. Awesome. So the Black Onyx uh, increases your defense, which is really, really great. Uh, we're going to immediately use another red potion because we're going to go straight back to um, uh, the town of... Oh, shit. Was it Victim? Yes, the town of Victim. So. Up we go. And uh, I've got one red potion left, so I can use it. I mean, worse and worse if I die, it's not really a big deal. Um, I mean, it's still not fun, but not the hugest thing in the world because um, I got what I came for. So, yeah, the Black Onyx raises your defense, I think, by 10%, which is very cool. That sucked. Why were you doing that? Why were you there? Don't hit me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, just like hammering the attack button. Ah, shit. Little dumb things like that. That's <laughs> so frustrating. And where are you gonna be? Ah, of course you're right there. Oh, they're the worst areas for characters to spawn. Oh, good. That actually worked really well. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna chance it because I've got a, like a wyvern guy right here. Oh, nice. That actually went really well. Okay, cool. Ugh, so close to death. But, thankfully... We are back in the item room here, so we're going to use that to our advantage. So, counter is one, counter is two, counter is three, counter is four. Okay. These guys still suck. There we go. Better than nothing. It's crazy how fast you go through life in this game, man. I am free from injury because of the ointment. Except for magic, which is so silly. So silly. Whatever, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. Keep running. Cool. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here and head back to the town of Victim. Which is really easy to get to because uh, it's right below us. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna fall. We'll fall again right here. No, not here. Keep it going. Almost there. I swear. Right here. Fall. To the left. Remember this place? Yeah, with the squids. There we go. Back to mask Or, victim, sorry. So, awesome. We're gonna go ahead and... Actually, I'm gonna go to the... Church. Talk to the guru. See if I've gained, uh... Actually... Uh, 22,000. Uh, 22, so, I will get a rank up. Oh, okay, so I did get a title. Soldier. Ah, uh, which means I could have gotten uh, my uh, armor for free, but whatever. It's only 5,000 gold or something like that. Oh, right. I was like, what happened? Don't know. The point. It's just the ointment. Um, let's go to our... This. Buy. I need two more king keys. Which is like, it's going to be 3,000 bucks, I think. It's just a shame. I need so much money. 
I'm also gonna get rid of the queen key that I have. I don't know why I have an extra one. Probably me being silly. No problem. So now that we have the black onyx, uh, we saw a guy earlier um, next to a locked door that had an ace mark on it. Uh, he told us to come back once we get the black onyx. So we're going to make our way back there. If you want to and you've got the extra money, you can use uh, wing boots to make it up there like where I fell. You can kind of just go back up there that way. I'm actually going to go all the way around um, because that way I can uh, I can get some more experience. And I can get some more gold. So I'm going to do that. And... Uh, yeah, you, might, you guys might as well follow me around, I guess. <laughs> right. Yeah, 250 gold. That's like nothing. Basically, 500 gold to get almost max HP back. Not full MP, though. Still not bad. Whatever. All right. Let us continue our journey, shall we? Actually, what else? do I need anything else? Let's go back in. Maybe I should buy... I should buy a um, couple potions, because I just used a bunch of them. Is there a store? Where's the store? Oh, I guess it'll be the armory. Hello, you. What do you got? Oh, I didn't sell my queen key, did I? Red potion. 800's not bad, actually. I bought, like... Actually, I'll buy a bunch, and then I can die. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a bunch, and then I can die. Uh, it'll set me back a little bit for my experience points, but it won't set me back for, uh... For gold, so that's good. Nice, and buy two more. Cool. Sounds like I shouldn't have bought that um, that dried meat, but not not a big deal. It was like 500 gold in the end, which I wouldn't be able to do anything with anyways. Remember that don't buy the Matic. It's just there to allow you to basically uh, basically sell one if you if you had gotten one by mistake. So, but basically now that we have the Black Onyx, that's that's really the only thing you need to do. It's the only thing that you're required to do in the mist area, which basically means we can head off to world three, but I'm going to go ahead and kill myself. I'll be right back guys. All right, there we go. Start with 6,200 uh, gold, which is pretty good. Um, I did lose like almost 2000 experience, which does suck, but it's really not that big a deal. First thing we're going to do, sell our queen key, get a little bit more money. Here we're going to sell. Very careful, don't hit the button too hard or else you'll hit a bunch of buttons and you'll sell something by mistake that you don't want to sell, like a king key. So, no problem. Thank you for providing me with keys for very, very, very expensive rates. Um, yeah, I was about to say I was going to buy um, the, the wing boots, but I, I don't want to be lazy. I'm going to have to work for the money later on anyway, so I might as well do it while I make my way there. Don't really have to kill these guys. They're good for experience, I guess, but they only give you bread. So I only kind of kill them when they're in my way, or I need to fill up on bread. There we go. I'm gonna be 30 experience, not, nothing crazy. Come down here. Come down here, bud. Yeah. At this point, it's it's much better to like almost let the magic hit your uh, your shield, because right now my shield is still pretty good. We get the magical shield when we gets to the next uh, when we get to the next town. Uh, which, again, you could have bought earlier on in the game, which, again, is a really good idea. I just like doing things in order with you guys. That way, if you're following me along, you, you know, you can make your own decisions that way, so. Careful. Oh, yeah, they follow you. I forgot that. Nothing too crazy. Definitely easier than the dungeon uh, enemies we were fighting. Those guys just take so much health off you. Plus, there's no bread enemies, which is a shame. Bread enemies, like, make this, this trek not that difficult. So, basically, that's probably how the, uh, the town gets by. They go out there, they kill an enemy and get some bread or meat or whatever you want to call it. They always call it dried meat, so I always assume that... Oh, I don't want to go up there, do I? No, I don't. It's, uh, it's, they call it dried meat, so I'm assuming they're killing enemies uh, and like taking their husks back and, uh, you know, sell them. Makes sense, I mean... You know, some of them aren't really monsters. Like, that was a, that's a guy in a magician robe. It wasn't a monster. Oh, right, that's just the guy who gives me fire spell, which is good. Actually, speaking of which, I want to get my... Oops, no. Uh, might as well equip the king key, who cares? Uh, get my fire back on. Fire right now is definitely the best in terms of, like, MP consumption and uh, damage you're going to do. Just with bosses, you just want to take them out fast. That's why I use death instead. I don't know why I did that. Why did I jump on your head? Apologize that this is the same area we did basically last episode, but hey, that's the name of the game. Plus, I'm here to keep you entertained, right? Sure. Ah, poopies. I'm so bad at video games in general. 
<laughs> oh well. It's half the fun, right? Making mistakes. That's definitely the way it was back then with video games. You'll notice that with my higher level, it is so much faster for me to start running. Uh, it used to be like seven tiles or something to start running. Now it's like... It's like two. I don't know if it gets any faster. I know you, there's still a lot of levels that I can get. I'm at Soldier right now, and there's I think like five or six more ranks you can get. Um, the most you can start off with uh, by killing yourself off, and the last rank is 15,000 gold, which is pretty good. Eh. Which, uh, to be honest, I think the best thing you can buy in the game would cost 15,000, so if you make it up to that high rank, you can basically buy everything in the game uh, without having to grind for anything. So here we go, we're back. Kill this guy before he's gonna hurt me at least once. Doesn't hurt for a lot, though. Alright, hello sir, I have the Black Onyx. As long as there are crazed dwarfs, the deadly threat of the meteorite will loom over the elves. Use this key to open the next door to, go to get to conflict. Fight for the elves. Yay, so we get the ace key. I believe it's the only ace key in the game. I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe there's another one. Can I not equip it? Oh, right. I always forget I can't equip inside the house. It's so weird. But with that, ah, damn you, damn you. <laughs> yes, I want that one to go without going to the next area. Uh, king, or key ace, yay! Alright, world three! I've used key, and these are the branches of the world tree. Nice funky music. Do, 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 damn you. Damn you again. Come here. So, uh, like most of the other areas of the game, this place is, oh, you can go through the vertical limits of the screen. Did not know that. Um, this is a very linear area as well. Uh, that's okay. The game in, is pretty much linear, except for the last little area, which is a lot more maze-like and dangerous. But you'll have me to guide you, so no worries. Hello, you guys. You have no place to, to jump, so you guys are very easy here. Actually, not a bad place to uh, grind a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to grind just a little bit here, guys. Uh, nothing crazy, just a little bit. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm probably going to hit... 10,000 gold, maybe? No, a little bit more. I'm gonna go for, like, 15,000. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, 15,000 gold. That did not take a long time. That was, like, three or four minutes. That's a really, really good place to, uh, to level up, I'll be really honest. Um, I'm surprised how, how good a place it was. I got hit a couple times, but not really a big deal. So, hooray. Uh, so, keep going. This room right here, I believe, anyways, is a an item room for an ointment. I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's try it out. The item might appear, like, in one of these, like, behind the pillar. Aha! See? I'm free from injury because of the ointment. So with that, let's make our way up. I don't know how long this is going to last us, but we uh, don't need to kill anything right now because we got plenty of money. I'll probably need a little bit more money. This isn't enough to get everything in the town of Conflict, but, I mean, good enough for now. I'm going to take you out, actually. I think you dropped bread. Oh, you don't. Okay, never mind. Here we can... Ah, I don't have time with the ointment. We go to the left and fight a boss for an item, an optional item, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna hit a poison. Not a big deal. It's a shame that the ointment doesn't do anything for that. And then we're gonna keep going to the right. Actually, you know what? Um, no, let's head to the right first. Might as well get some equipment upgrades. So you don't go up yet, you want to head to the right, because that is where Conflate is, and you want to go to the next town. This is also a decent place to uh, level up, because right here is Conflate, and right here is two of these magician guys, and that, like, you'll get hit maybe, because, you know, magic, but it does so little now, so. Alright, let's head in on in. We're getting there, we're near the end of the game, guys, this is like the third last town, I think. The town is surrounded by doors for protection. Makes sense? Thanks for explaining that. What do you have to say? I am a guardian of the guru. He is an important person. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, he is just patrolling that. That's kind of cool. I like that. I, love that. I like that a lot. I don't need any dried meat. I'm good. Get in there. Hello. I don't... I Yeah, not enough for another next rank, but still, almost there. Let us head to... Don't need to go to the hospital. You never really need to go to the hospital. This is a trading town called Conflate. Or Conflate? Conflate? I don't know if the emphasis is on the O or not. Alright, let's get some stuff. <laughs> First of all, I want to get the giant blade. Oh, the giant blade. It's so giant. It's so big. 
He also knows wing boots are a lot more expensive here too. So if you, you could actually buy wing boots and come here for maybe not maybe not profit. I don't know. But if you don't need any, you can sell them here, which is not that bad. Oh, I need a little bit more money. Thank you for shopping, no problem. Thank you for selling. With that, we are going to equip our new weapon. Oh, the giant blade. So your your long sword does uh, 10 damage. This does 25. Oh, 150% upgrade. Oh, it's so nice. That's very good. That's just fantastic. I used to go to the town of dwarfs quite often when we had business with them. Yeah, I guess the meteorite made all the dwarves go crazy. That's a shame, too. You're basically committing genocide because, you know, the meteorite made them go nuts. So, town used to prosper from trading with the dwarves. Everything was pretty much together. Like, you know, they, they lived together and... I don't know, it was nice. Oh, you can't go to the right. So this is the like a little dead end. Um, so we do need to get some magic, uh, the magic shield. So we need more, um, more gold. But for now, let's head back to that place where I was debating whether or not to go. That is to the left. Still don't go up. We're going to get some bread first and we heal up a little bit. I think the squid bread's pretty good though, right? Ah, not if I get hit. One more squid bread, please. And I'm going to hit some poison. It's very hard to get by that poison without getting hit. Come here. Get whapped by my giant blade. And jump! Nope! Got <laughs> hit right back into the screen. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, shit, I didn't even jump. Oh, these guys give me... Oh my god, look how fast your life just drains. It's nuts sometimes. There we go. Thank god for bread. More guys here that I can know. You do need a king key, by the way, to uh, go into this area. You'll also notice that I don't have any, uh, the, the, the conflict didn't have any keys. So make sure that you don't use the yeah, I've got two. That's good. Because um, if you need more keys, you have to go all the way back to victim right now, which is uh, not a fun trek, but whatever. All right. I've used key. So once you get in here, make sure you do everything you need to do in here. So. Not that there's a lot, there's only three screens. Careful, these guys are just gonna let them come to me, to be honest. Come here. Okay. And ignore you. Uh, let's get our death spell going. So we got this guy again. Shit. Okay, good. That is going really well. You do have to hit him in the head, it's frustrating. There we go. Money, money. Careful, don't go off the screen. And we get the Battle Helmet. Is that what it's called? The Battle Helmet. Battle Nelmet. <laughs> now, weirdly enough, the Battle Helmet is considered a shield. But I can't equip it, which sucks. Uh, so even though, like, on the side there, it says that I have the Battle Helmet and not the Magic Shield, it's like, well, I have the best thing in the game. Well, I'm not going to be able to equip it for a little while, actually. So we still definitely want... Oh, jeez, you just came at me, my friend. Uh, you still want to get that magical shield, so... When the battle helmet is equipped, it uh, prevents 99% of magic uh, damage. That's insane. Uh, the magic shield is still really good. It's 90%. Um, the battle helmet is completely optional. You just can't equip it until you get all of your last equipment. There's the battle helmet, the battle suit and the Dragon Slayer Sword. And you need the Dragon Slayer Sword to equip any of the extra stuff. Um, and we're gonna have all three items at the same time, so we'll equip them all at the same time, so. Ah, damn it, I'm so bad at that. Oh, that's okay though, because we're heading right back. Right back to, um, eh. Right back to, eh. Right back, eh. Right back to Conflate. That we can save a little bit. Well, not save, but you know what I mean. Eh, get away from me, guys. Um, yes, I want to... Oh, actually, I, well, I can still go this way. Go in here. Get my magic shield. Yay. Oh, wait, how much do I need? 95? Am I not paying attention? Oh, 98. Ah, whatever, I'll be right back. There we go. I killed like five of those hooded warrior guys. Actually, technically six. So, now we have enough. Awesome. Good timing. Basically the end of the episode, anyways. Magic shield! Yay! 
It takes so long for the money to go. The last thing you can buy is the last spell of, I think it's called Tilte. Um, and it is 15,000 gold and it takes forever. It's like I'm dumping this like multiple bags of individual gold pieces onto the guy's like counter. Oh, there we go. 107. And I'm gonna go talk to the guru and then I'm gonna kill myself because we have a new, uh, new rank. So let's go to my Sneald's magic shield. Yay! I don't think it looks any different though. Maybe it's a little bigger, I'm not sure. But talk to the guru, get my new thing. I don't know what it's called. M oh, Myrmidon. Myrmidon? Myrmidon? The first time I ever heard that term was from Fire Emblem. Uh, but I've never known how to pronounce it. Question of the day, how do you pronounce that name? Anyways, I'm gonna go kill myself and I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.